Welcome aboard the 2009 Sea Ray 230 Sundancer. This is a brand new boat for the Sea Ray lineup this year, and it does a little bit of uh, a few things. It gives you a nice overnighter cuddy cabin, a nice day boat, plus a boat you can do a lot of other things with also. I can't wait to show you a lot of the features here. This is the entry level into the Sea Ray Sport Cruisers, but a lot of the same components of the 240 Sundancer that, that this is part of are also here as well. For instance, the large swim platform on the back here. This is a boat that you can certainly do some water sports with, plenty of power to do so. In fact, there's even a ski tow eye here on the back. Other nice features on this boat are a built-in trunk in the back, a feature that most regular cutties don't have, but this boat does. Inside here, you can put extra fenders, extra ropes, dock lines, things like that. Heck, it's even big enough that if your tube is deflated, you can, you can put that in here as well keep it from coming back into the cockpit. Everything can stay right back here. And this stays up with the aid of this gas assist shock here also. This may be the first boat in the Sea Ray cruisers and an entry level boat at that, but Sea Ray did not skimp on any of the materials used to construct the boat. Stainless steel hardware throughout like this grab handle, stainless steel hinges, and the stainless steel latch here also. Everything of premium quality and all the components used on the boat. As we step into the cockpit area, notice the nice wide walkway we have here to walk inside the cockpit. There's even a door that closes and latches to keep youngsters in. If you plan on taking some, uh, some young ones along, you can feel secure that they will be secure with this nice deep uh, cockpit interior with the door. In fact, you can get an idea of the depth inside here right from where this is on my leg. Once inside the boat, a real nice feature here. If you happen to be docking alongside a pier, very easy with this footing here to step up and over the side of the boat. Nice wide areas for footing and it does have a textured surface as well. Even on the starboard side, there's a textured surface that's nice and wide for stepping up and over. Another nice thing here too, this is a boat as I said you can use for many different things. One of the nice things you can use this for is for putting rod holders or down riggers. Plenty of room here to do that. In fact, as far as space goes, you have plenty of it inside the cockpit of this boat. You can kind of get an idea of the amount of room that's in here. As far as seating goes, what's nice is we have this lounger seat here on the port side. Three people could easily sit here along with on the back aft bench seat. You have three people that can sit there plus the driver. Plenty of room to take a lot of friends along. In fact, this boat has a 10-person capacity. But if you want, didn't want to take that many people, the nice thing here is you have this nice lounger seat, either for catching some rays here or for just hanging out, or heck, for looking back, you can see your skiers or, or tubers. So the spotter has a nice, comfortable uh, seating uh, arrangement to view that as well. Over on the helm side, nice bucket seat it swivels all the way around. So when you're just hanging out at the dock or with an anchor out, you can join the conversation with this seating arrangement here. When operating the boat, you have a nice vision up over the dashboard through the glass all around from sitting here. But the nice thing is too, the flip up riser allows you to pop that up. Now you have a leaning post with a commanding view up and over the dashboard, up over the windshield even. Lots of room here to stand behind the helm for docking. Plenty of room here to move about. You can easily see all four corners of the boat, so it makes it nice for docking with this boat. Plenty of room up here for electronics and things if you wanted to mount GPS or VHF radio. All those things could be added here, and there's plenty of room to do so. Incidentally, cup holders all around, and even those are stainless steel. Uh, nice, nice features inside the boat. Your steps to go up onto the deck are integrated into the door. But what's nice is, very easy to step up and through the windshield of the boat for access up to the bow. And once up here, it's a nice textured surface, so it's easy to get some footing on here. Although I do recommend sneakers anytime you're up here. Up on the front, up in here, would be your anchor locker. is stowed right up inside here. So this is where your anchor would go with all its line. Very easy to access up here in the front of the boat. back through the windshield. Again, easy to step right back and in. Door closes, and now we're back in the cockpit. 
this door is on sliders, so with just, just my fingers here, we can open it up and have access to the cabin. We'll go below and I'll show you a lot of things that make this boat such a nice overnighter also. Once inside the cabin, plenty of room. Nice aesthetic look inside here, nice calming colors inside the, uh, the cockpit here. Plenty of storage underneath the seats on both sides. So you have plenty of room to put things, gear bag, any extras you want to take with you for a weekend out. Uh, the galley is located right here. And here we have a butane stove. Looks like a gas stove at home. Simply pop in your canisters and you have gas. Makes it nice for cooking while on board the boat. Also, plenty of storage up inside here to put things. All your cabinetry opens up for a lot of extra space for things you might want to take along. Plates, cups, condiments, anything that you want for a weekend out. And again, more storage well inside here. And everything's all finished off very well. Brushed nickel look to the whole uh, fixtures here. This does come out so you can spray all around. Also in the head area, this is nice and spacious in here as well. Features a sink, again with pressure shower, a sprayer, uh, and a shower assembly in here too. You could take a shower on board the boat. Uh, pump out head is located here as well, plus uh, windows all around for ventilation. Additionally, there's extra closet space in here located right here with a hanger so you could hang things inside here. One of the last features I'd like to point out inside this boat is the addition to of a mid-cabin inside the back here. What's nice about this, it kind of gives a lot more versatility than a regular cuddy cabin would, but you certainly have plenty of room for two people to overnight back here as well. So that's what makes this boat a little different from a regular cuddy entry level into the Sea Ray Cruiser lineup. This is, a, uh, this is a nice addition. I think you'll appreciate the qualities of it being less expensive, easy to tow, and uh, a nice boat to take a weekend on. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. It was a real pleasure showing you this boat today. My name is Ted. Thanks for watching.